a top earning real estate broker in Dubai earned 1.5 million dirham in February. Wow. Can we let that sink in? One month Ooh. earnings, 1.5 million. Uh, it is a good time to be in real estate. Uh, you've seen the flashy videos on TikTok. We know what it looks like, but now we have the numbers from the CEO of Allsop and Allsop. Lewis Allsop revealed what his top earners, so the top earners in the company, uh, how much they're making. And let's just say they're raking it in. Okay, so he said in January, they beat 2022 January by 62% and their top earner bought in 352,000 pounds sterling. That is 1.5 million dirhams in a single month. And that's not all. Uh, he had a little story that he was out with a team member who, and the team member was like, ah, oh, Lewis was like, how'd you get on? He goes, so I had a decent month. What's a decent month? A decent month, uh, if you're working there, uh, is pocketing 840K in February in commission. Wow. A decent month. Not a great month, a decent month. Finally, he added a word of warning about the property market in Dubai, which is uh, great for, good to know if you're a tenant, good to know if you're an investor, good to know if you're buying. He said, Dubai real estate market is going to rise for the next three years. It's going to be incredible for brokers, owners and investors, not so much for tenants looking for a good deal. So if you have a good deal, the word of warning is to stay put and hold out and do not let landlords rise your rent. Okay, that is a uh, good word of warning honestly because i'm a tenant and just a tenant not an investor um so not the a word to stay put stay put yes exactly but that is we are in the wrong field i think we should just get into real estate like the amount that you can pocket in in a month is incredible like that kind of oh, i don't understand figures more than like I don't understand. Like it's a pretty six-figure numbers. Like but I don't it's get it. It's easy to digest. 100 of 1.5 million versus 10 k. I don't. I don't it's not registering. So like, if one versus only 10 k. So what do you do with all that money? Like how? how? Like it's is, is it real? Is are they just saying it? Like that money? It's incomprehensible. Million? It is an amazing and actually. Uh, so he posted this on LinkedIn, and there was a lot of comments and. Uh, One of the comments, let me just get it up. Uh, it basically said, um, many people will not realize how astonishing of a success story Dubai is. Yeah. Because this isn't just great. This isn't just a one company story, by the way. This is a uh, synopsis of how incredible the real estate market is doing and industries as a whole in the city are just doing really, really well. Uh, it's an amazing time to be in industry in Dubai. Um, and yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, in every sense, like it, like you said, it is a great time for real estate in Dubai and people are just it, like we're seeing such an influx of tourists and residents and expats coming in from all over the world. Like we're seeing more from Europe now. And then, of course, China is always there. So it's like with the influx of so many people and like, the uh, you know, looking for residential properties. It's just a good time, like they said, to be in real estate and uh, like prices will be booming in the next three years. It's no doubt. Interesting that he said for the next three years, uh, because people always will question, you know, how long will this? Because booms never last, right? And we're yeah. in a boom. So it is. Uh, it's interesting that he noted that. Also, uh, it's worth mentioning how we're, you know, immediately we see that figure. We're thinking, okay, let's. sack this off and jump into real estate. Yeah. However, we've had the pleasure of uh, talking to real estate agents in Dubai on this show and and just personal live as well. And the, the constant uh, hustle, the constant hustle that's required, like every single time you speak to someone, you say, how are you doing? And they say, it's not easy. Uh, yeah. My brother actually tried it. He's always been in car sales. He tried to jump into real estate a couple of years ago and it wasn't easy. He went back into cars like it's it's a it's a grind. This, by the way, is all commission. So your basic is very, very low. So you need starting seed money yourself to do it. So although it looks the dream. Yeah. It's not. It's easier said it's than easier done. It's easier said than yeah. done. It's, yeah, for sure. In that industry, like uh, we'll just say it. So, you know, like in passing, like, oh, we should just get into real estate. But of course, it's not that easy. And then everyone would be in it. Uh, but of course, like it. All the factors, like we said, add up to how in the next three years Dubai is looking like the prime location. And that too, like recently, just yesterday, it was named uh, in Brands Finance's Global Soft Power Index. Dubai made the index as number 10 in the world's top 10 soft superpowers. Oh, so, you know, <laughs> just like climbing the ladder in all fields. 
So it's just incredible to see Dubai, like, you know, making these uh, index and topping them. And hence why we see so many people showing such interest in coming and just making the city their home. Which we have all done and we're super grateful for it. Guys, it is Friday, which means one thing, your hot list and every cool thing to do in Dubai this weekend is coming right after this short break. Have a great weekend. Goodbye from me. Goodbye from me.